A teenage girl, an innocent bystander, among three shot in District Heights. Good evening, I'm Scott Thuman. When 7 News cameras got there this afternoon, we saw dozens of those yellow evidence markers in front of an apartment community. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell joining us now live with the investigation. And Brad, outrage along Atwood Street tonight. Yeah, and you'll understand it when I share with you what went on here. So look, it was just before 2 p.m. A car pulls up right here. At least two people get out. They go over by that pickup truck and they start firing. Maybe 30 shots. That's how many shell casings we saw in the street. You can see there's one bullet hole in this truck just above the side view mirror there. And what happened is one of the shots hit someone that was in this parking lot, a guy who just came home from work. He got hit in the hip, but another traveled across the parking lot and went into the window that you're looking at right now. A single shot and in there, a 14 year old girl was hit as well as an adult female. Now let's go to some of the video we showed you. I tell you about all of these shell casings. The street was literally littered with them, as many as 30 out here and we understand that actually more shots than that were fired. We don't know what kind of weapons, but at least two people getting in their car and just running away. I talked to a man who was in this parking lot when it happened. He said he was working on a car and all of a sudden he hears the shots. He ducks to the ground. He didn't see anything, but he said it was terrifying. He said it was his cousin that was actually hit in the hip. He says he's doing okay. We mentioned the outrage among those really upset by this is the county's deputy chief administrative officer for public safety, Barry Stanton. And this is what he had to say at an afternoon press conference. You know, there were times when incidents like this would, would stop everyone in their tracks. But the terrifying truth is that incidents like these are starting to happen too often. It's time for our community. It's time for our families. It's time for our parents to stand up, speak out, hold people accountable. Yeah, and another reason for the outrage, not just what happened here today, but I've been on this street, Atwood Street, right near Rochelle, many times. 2022, I was here for an eerily similar story. There was another shooting, people opening fire towards a playground. A 14-year-old was hit, a 4-year-old was hit in that incident, and a dog was killed. That was again in 2022. So police say they are investigating this. They're going to try to get to the bottom of it, try to find out who these shooters were. Right now, it does not appear that any of the people that were hit was an intended target, completely innocent victims of bullets intended for somebody else. In District Heights, Brad Bell, 7 News.